I'd like to narrate the slideshow that I shared with the congregation on Sunday, September the 27th, 2015 at Asbury United Methodist Church in Harrington, Delaware. My name is the Reverend Dr. Lawrence Jameson. This was our steeple dedication Sunday, and we were very proud of the improvements we were able to make and complete on our steeple. All of our improvements uh, were dedicated in memory of Albert Boots Mason, who uh, died on March the 23rd, 2013. He was a beloved member of our church and the last person to uh, make renovations himself to the steeple. Now here's a postcard showing uh, a view of the church, probably from the 1930s. You notice the uh, dirt roads there and the and the low fencing that was next door. Uh, some happy people dressed in formal manner uh, near the front door of the church, and uh, it's this picture warms my heart and and shows a lovely view of Harrington, probably back in the 1930s. Now, um, a little later on, and from a different angle, uh, viewing the church from uh, Liberty Street is the addition of Collins Hall. And uh, this is our fellowship hall and also uh, a, a bit of a Sunday school facility for us. And that was a big improvement. You can see the steeple features prominently in this picture. Now, here's a picture from the 1950s of Asbury United Methodist Church. And you'll notice to the one side of the church is the old parsonage. It was a two-story building. This building was torn down in the 1960s, and a new ranch brick-style home was built across the street, which is the current parsonage, and it's very comfortable. And here's a picture of the church uh, from the 2006 directory cover, and this is the, um, the view of the church that most people are familiar with today. You'll notice that it was an asphalt roof on the steeple. There was a lighting system with poles coming out from the base of the steeple which uh, illuminated the church at night. However, uh, during my term as, as pastor here, uh, these lights hadn't worked in quite some time. So in the fall of 2014, we began to explore how we could make repairs to our steeple. And on October the 9th, 2014, some staff from Bayside Exteriors down in Lewis, Delaware made a visit to give us an estimate of what they could do for us. Now here's a picture of me standing up there in the steeple when Bayside was visiting and um, it was a rather intimidating experience to go up in that steeple. It's very high and um, the bell is beautiful. I was able to hold the bell and, and have one of the guys take a picture of me. I was very happy. Now here's a picture of Chris Weatherhold on the left and uh, one of the staff from Bayside Exteriors and they took a look at the interior and the exterior of this steeple and estimated what it would take to uh, scrape it and paint it and make repairs. Uh, there was uh, inadequate electrical uh, work that that was uh, present in the building and so it needed to be basically removed and uh, reformatted. And here's a picture of the uh, gingerbread fencing that's on the inside of the, f the grate that keeps the birds out and uh, it's a beautiful, a beautiful uh, piece of architectural work. However, we determined that it would be just too difficult to keep this and so what we decided to do is replace it completely with modern materials that would uh, be UV resistant. Now here's the view from uh, the steeple looking out over Harrington. It's, it's quite a spectacular view. And here are some pictures of the bell. Most people don't get to see this bell. It's quite lovely and quite large. When you ring this bell, if you're present right next to it, it hurts your ears. It's so very loud. Here's a view of the bottom of the bell and the clapper. And here's a view of the manufacturer's mark on the bell. It was made by J. Nestor and Sons from Baltimore, Maryland. Now, the date on the bell reads 1869 which is just four years after the end of the Civil War. Uh, it's covered with paint, but it's pretty clear. Now, on November the 17th, 2014, Bayside delivered their equipment, and we had signed a contract, and we were ready to go. Bayside uh, did a fine job for us. They started their work on November the 22nd of 2014, and our men began to remove the roofing materials from our steeple. You can see that they did a really good job. There was the asphalt on the outside, and then just beneath that, there was a metal roof, an old shingled metal roof. And they replaced this with uh, modern materials that uh, were, they did a beautiful job. Um, they also, after putting the roof on, they began to scrape the paint, 
from the steeple and to make it more beautiful. They put the roof on in November of 2014 and then they scraped and painted in December. They also did work on the steeple floor and we were all surprised that uh, they were able to get this done before the end of the year. Now here's a view of uh, some of the screens set aside at the base of the building which they completely renovated as well and uh, they do a great they did a great job these screens prevent the birds from coming into our steeple and damaging the facility the old gingerbread railing was the next to go and there you can see a nice picture of it uh, that was replaced by eric lamata in spring of 2015 and the old lights were removed as well Rob Wyatt and his dear wife Brenda uh, made repairs on the bell when the weather had warmed up in the spring of 2015 and for the first time in many years the children and adults of our church were able to ring that bell for Sunday school and for other services and it's a privilege to hear that bell ring. Eric LaMotta finished his work on the railing and Mickey and Connor Calloway in, uh, removed all the old electrical and installed two brand new interior LED floodlights in September 2015 and the project was completed. Now Asbury Church is so grateful for the leadership of our Board of Trustees. The co-chairs during this project are Chris Weatherhold and Heather Beecham and they both did a lot and held a lot of meetings and worked with uh, the pastor and the members of the church to raise enough money to uh, fund this entire project which was complete, completely paid for. Uh, Linda Jaden and Mickey Calloway and Leroy Betts and Mary Vincent and Ralph Butler all served as trustees during this term. We thank God for the generosity of the Boots Mason family and the kind gifts of so many members and friends of Asbury who made the project possible. And like I said, we were able to completely pay this, this, the cost off and uh, the project's done. We rededicated the steeple on September the 27th with a beautiful service and we had some lovely, um, we had the children ringing the bell. It's just a lot of pride and happiness for us as a church. As you look on the left here, there's a picture of the uh, the newly renovated steeple and on the right is what it looks like at night. As a church we're grateful for our presence in the community. We love Harrington and we love being a part of this community and we just uh, want to praise the Lord and thank God for uh, how he led us through this process of making repairs on our steeple. Thanks for listening to this presentation.